If the spectacular scenery weren't enough to set this cattle ranch apart, certainly its history would. These sustainable grasslands along the stunning California coast have been home to the Hearst family ranch for some 150 years. It all began in 1865 when George Hearst, a rancher and future California senator, bought 48,000 acres of an old Mexican land grant called Piedra Blanca Rancho. George Hearst would later become better known as the father of media mogul William Randolph Hearst. His land became the foundation of one of the nation's largest suppliers of free-range grass-fed beef. Hey, Rob, how are you? Nice to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for doing this. No Steve Hurst, William Randolph Hurst's great-grandson, heads up the ranch today, an operation owned by the global Hurst Corporation. It covers a sprawling 128 square miles. There is so much land here, 82,000 acres. Mm -hmm. And how much of it is actually used for cattle grazing? Well, you can graze about half of the acreage. These coastal acres provide the food source for the ranch's grass-fed cattle. A thousand head of mother cows graze on these sustainable grasslands. We've often said that, you know, we let cows be cows, we give them a lot of room to do it. Over here we have the ocean, and over here we have uh, su such beautiful hills and scenery. Do you ever come up here by yourself? I have been here by myself a number of times. Um, never been bored, grab a nice chest and take a drive. But travel inland just a few miles and you'll find more of the Hearst farming operation. Jack Ranch in Paso Robles was added to the ranch in 1965. The acres here have greater access to water, a critical element during California's drought years. These flatter grasslands are also irrigated and the cattle moved from pasture to pasture to enhance the sustainability of the land. But just as they've done for decades, Hearst ranch hands use horses and dogs to tend to the herds. Ben Higgins directs agriculture operations. Grass-fed production is, you know, by its very nature, more difficult. Um, it, takes, it takes longer to raise those animals, to get them to that, that finished weight, um, and it costs more, ultimately, for us to, for us to produce. Um, and especially in, in a drought situation, it's, it's exceptionally difficult. Back at the ranch's original acres, almost a million tourists drive through these hills each year to get to Hearst Castle. The spectacular estate was built by William Randolph Hearst in the early 20th century. It was Hearst Country Estate, where the Hollywood elite came to mix and mingle. W.R. loved the ranch, and he said to his mother, I'd rather spend a month here than anywhere in the world. In 1957, the family gave the Hilltop Estate to the state of California. The ranch itself is closed to the public, but lofty vantage points from the castle give visitors a chance to overlook the sprawling acres of the California grasslands. As many guests as I've ever seen walk into that building, while they're astounded by the architecture and the fixtures and the furniture and the antiquities, they walk right through the room, right to a window, and look at the view and say, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Because in every, out of every window, the view was specifically planned. As you might expect, when William Randolph Hearst died in 1951, there were questions about what would happen to the Hearst Castle and land. I think it's so important to tell your story of conservation, because as, as poignant and special as this land is to you, you gave a lot of it away. Well, we gave a lot of it away, and we also gave away rights that existed with the property. In 2005, Steve Hurst negotiated what became the largest California conservation easement project of its time, transferring ownership to the state, yet ensuring that this land will always remain in the Hurst family for agriculture. The agreement limits development of these historic hills and beautiful beaches we enlisted the American Land Conservancy. Um, the California Rangeland Trust was always the organization we saw that was gonna oversee the entire easement in perpetuity. So we had to fund the endowment to have them come and review our practices twice a year forever. 
Those new directions also provided new opportunities. They launched the Hearst Ranch Winery near their Jack Ranch and tapped into new markets for their grass-fed beef. That included a partnership with Whole Food Stores in Southern California. So when you think about all of your family members and ancestors that have gone before you here, I want to take it back to the, to the very beginning. What would Senator Hurst think about what you're doing today? I think that George and Phoebe and W.R. Uh, would come here today and see it very much as they saw it when they were here. Very little has changed. I think they would very much approve of, of what we're doing here today, and I think they'd be proud of it. So now let's go forward. Okay. When they're talking about you this way. <laughs> well, you know, there, the there, there, was, there was a sense that I had during the conservation negotiations uh, of a photo of me when they said, so that's the guy that sold the ranch. And someone said, no, that's the guy that saved the ranch. <laughs>